Hello everyone, it's 20 Italians bringing you another episode of The Nation of 20. So our saga continues as we try to figure out what to do with our nation here. And what do I mean by that? And that is, how do we keep all these rebellions to stop happening? At least we got this, um, this mission completed, turning your Lungan into a city, province of Guam, court, and and Tuvalu cord. Manpower needs to recover. That seems like the best thing to do. What do we have? Supply convoys. That's where our admin power is going. But our global tariffs are up 10%. It's pretty good, huh? Uh, I don't need anything else. Uh, I cannot do anything with this. And I hope... Man, I really wish I could buy this from Sunda. Who is Sunda allied with? Not that I can attack them. They're only allied with me. But I'm not going to attack them because then I'd lose the manpower mission I just I just got. Uh, can I annex them? Uh, relation, influence? Offer vassalization? No, they hate us. Sunda has more than 100 total development. All right, so that's never going to happen. Uh, alliance? No. No. I guess we'll, uh, I guess we'll improve relations, right? Sunda's Hindu? I didn't know that. I thought they were Muslim, like me. And we're married to them? The heck did that happen? Oh well. Tariffs on coffee? Um, I better leave it be. Alright, let's see. Anything that we can core yet? No. Back. And... Now it's 3.4 years? Yes, all right, so that's going away. I was going to say, because this has still has unrest. But I'm going to leave it as it is on that, on that front. Um, oh, not them. Bring them down here to Yolungu. And I don't know, I guess I'll bring these guys up to... Um, to... Blam Baggin. All right, and that just seems it's just more of making sure they keep everybody happy. Well, it took a while to get from uh, get get from there to here. All right, so we have no general, but that should be okay. And now Asmat self-sustaining, so we'll go up here to Asmat. Fact facts now cord. Man, that sucks. So, uh, England has already sent in their next colonists, which is annoying. But what are we going to do, right? We can't really do anything. I'll bring them up here to Terra Can. Eventually, I need to get rid of these mercs, but as you see, we still have no manpower. We gain 453 each month. We can't really increase it because we don't have anything... Um, and there's a revolt in Samarinda. Okay. So they're upset with the taxes as well. So we'll just bring them down here. Keep them in Belungan. We should be able to take care of them easily. And that's what we're doing here. Man, they have some great roles. And they got a terrain modifier, so that's good. Alright, so that'll take care of that. So that did trigger. That was amazing. Come on, end! Oh my god. Good. Hey, yay. You know. Alright, so now now we just have provincial unrest in Brunei. And it's all due to Belungan. So we can actually move everyone up to Belungan because we don't need them here. That those disgruntled people are are now gone. There's particular lists. Oh, they are in Blam Bagan and Demox. So there's Blam Baggin. So I'm actually going to move him, move these guys up to Halmahera to take them. They declared war on Mandaria. Well, I'm not there to help you out this time. And they're dealing with rebels. I don't know why you guys haven't uh, fielded a bigger army yet. <clears throat> Our country is going through an extensive social reorganization. Aristocratic lands are hugely being reduced and promises have been made to lessen the peasants' burden. 
Consequence of the liberation of the serfs, who compose a large part of our population, is the hostile reaction of the nobles in our realm. Go through or lose five prestige. Lose five legitimacy or lose five prestige. Well, we'll gain base production in Manila. Uh, it'll be over once the regency's over. I'm sorry to hear about Mandaria. I can offer you no support. All right, so we're going to put these guys on and send them down to Blambagan. I love that name. Blam bangin, blam bangin. All right, that's enough of that, right? Who else can we core? Well, we can core Azmat. I have to core Azmat and Yolungu, I guess. No, oh, I guess we're. No, oh, I guess that was already taken into consideration. Cool. Look at all these about ready to core. Woo woo. Not very high on development, though. Holy Roman Empire elected Joseph the First of Austria. Should be able to handle that. Not pretty fierce up here though. Uh, looks like we did it. And we lost. No. Why does this happen? Why does this happen in Menaquari? Because now they're just gonna you gotta go back and attack them, or else they're gonna besiege the colony and I'll have to start all over again. Good for Justin. And now I need another parliamentary seat. Looks like we won at that time. I guess I'll leave two regiments there. Um, no, I need to give you another seat. Oh, I just need to add it. That's right. Now, who shall we add? Do we have parliamentary seats? No. Uh, does Kutai have a seat? Kutai does have a seat. Parliament. Lihade Tatu? No. Uh, oh, we, we haven't even cored them yet. How about Bicol? Bicol would be a good seat, right? <clears throat> development cost. Development, 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 development. Hey. Yeah, Terracon, but they're not, um, they're not cored yet. Is this mine? No. Ooh, Benka. Development's 31. Why don't we make Binka? Yeah. Oh, they're not a core yet either. So that means a bit of tongue's not. Um, okay. So we will go to... <clears throat> Makassar already has a seat. Why don't we give it to Bali? They deserve a seat. Cool. Good old Bali. I've never been to Bali. I've heard it's nice. Tropical destination, man. All right, let's uh, let's put off that person's. Good for us. Yes. No, I just wanted you to go there. Generals are concerned that our focus on the navy is hurting the army. Fleet is it, damn it? Or time to devote more attention to the army? Um, ooh, that its tech cost goes down by 10%. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, I think it's time to devote more attention to the army right now. We are so far behind in, in admin tech. Actually, not around our neighbors, but we are. Oh, Brunei's in the middle of uh, rebellion. Yeah, how does it feel, Brunei? Oh, no. Uh, wavering loyalty of the guilds. I guess they didn't like me bringing more men. Too bad. All right, let's let's just dock here and um, should we dock? Actually, where's our best? Isn't Demak one of our better fleet uh, ports? I think so. Almost can make a core. <clears throat> So provincial unrest? Oh, interesting. Lungan, still. We should be able to handle them, though. Uh, I thought I... There you go. Join together. All right, so we are going to... We can upgrade them, yes. Oh, I guess I had something on there. Wait for them to be totally upgraded, man. Uh, I, don't, I don't really want to change culture here. 
Now we do need to make one of these core uh, terra can. We had tattoos now considered part of our patrimony. Excellent. And we're getting there, coring slowly but surely. Um, like I was saying, I wish Sulu would uh, would just accept an annexation here. Well, clearly, we're too oh almost. I need to get them to, oh, I haven't even been, let me, hold on. I think I can get, I think I can make this work. And can I give them, I can't give them a gift, I already have a, I just sent them that. Uh, yeah, let's bring him back from Portugal. And bring him back from Kilwa. Nothing we can do with him anyways, right? Is Bhutan still, okay, they're done actually. So why don't we take them and bring them over to Belungan as well. These guys are still disloyal. Nothing I can do about it. Now is that influence or loyalty? It must have been influence that they lost. Uh, no, nothing there. What do they need? Seek support of the clergy? No, I don't, I don't need that. Let's hope they don't incite another uprising though. That was really annoying. Very, very annoying. Alright, so we'll combine these two together. And now we still have how many colonists? They hold provinces of our culture group. I guess they won. We've lost that. They took they took Mandaria. My stupid colony. Um I guess we'll We'll continue this colonization here. No, no, I can't do two at one time. We'll send them into Rangakali. Rangihakla? Rangahakla. A low ranking official in our government has distinguished himself, proven to be a very able administrator. However, he's not Muslim. What am I at? E. What do we get here? Well, we need his skills. Eh, not the best here. Ottomans are the defender of the Sunni faith. Well, good for them. They have the money to do it. They can do it. So what I hope to do is I hope to connect these two. But I don't have enough men to spell, spare to cover the n native uprisings. Oh, yeah? Well, good for them. Establishing... Uh, what is this? Intercolonial trade. Establishing colonial subjects overseas allowed us to expand our trade while remaining in control, importing goods from territories that are essentially under 20s control. As long as we supply our colony with what they need, they have no reason to start putting gold in the hands of our enemies. Sadly, the settlers sometimes have a different opinion from our sultan on what exactly they need. They have begun to trade with neighboring colonies and natives, circumventing trade barriers we put up to protect our nation's interests. This clearly benefits them, but whether it benefits us is highly doubtful. What is our mercantilism? 21%. And their liberty desire. This is 20 sapin. They have... That'll be fine. Our interests are theirs. So we'll... Yeah, we'll tell them to stop it. Now... What can we do here? with Confederate Impabani. No, I don't really need anything there for them. Uh, we don't have anything to core, so we're going to leave that go. Parliament has passed the support of the war effort. Good, gaining one stability for the next 10 years. Recovery speed is up by 10% and monthly war exhaustion is down. It's actually really good. Um, that helps us out a lot on the uh, manpower recovery. So now we have 10 years for them to implement that. Why don't we go to... Alright, so this is done. And Belungan's still an issue here with the Bornean Separatists. I was going to look here. We still do not control everything. That annoys me. No one's embargoing us. Everyone's transferring truth power. How are they doing? Hey guys, do you want to... Uh, vassalization yet? No? How about... Uh, Oh, that's right. I wanted to pay off a loan. I was going to see if they wanted a gift, but I think we can use a better 
on our end to uh, repay loans. Yeah. Yeah. Because we don't want that to get any worse. I know that brings our cost all the way down. Don't worry about it. We'll be fine. We are a debt-free nation, bro. We don't play with that debt. Well, all these mercs. I'm surprised that we're not crazy bankrupt. <clears throat> but look, we gained 15. Um, I think we can bump up our colonial maintenance again. Oh, yeah, and our fleet maintenance. That should make everybody happy. Now we have too many men. How many men can they hold? Um, what does this say? Uh, the supply limit is 34.8. So we'll take off that guy. Nope, looks like we have to take off someone else. Well, we'll take off these these mercenaries. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Like we can do anything about it. Perm. Ooh, dies in Manaquari. Uh, what am I gonna do with these guys? Well, I'll just leave them here in case they need to come in to to help. I can invest in a new idea, can I? Corvettes. <clears throat> the bayonet. Uh, I have enough power to do it in four years, or I could drop it a lot and wait another probably eight years. Uh, I thought <laughs> it's late at night, people. I thought that actually said semen instead of semen. Our traditional fi fisheries have proven excellent grounds for the recruiting of sailors for our fleet. This has filtered through to, to better leadership for our navy. <laughs> that's, that's some hardy semen there, buddy. Um, what do we got here? What do we need? Do we need a dynamic court? Aye. Um, man, that would give us good stuff here. But my military, I believe my tech's so far behind. Is it really worth it? Uh, why don't we... It's just ship durability. I don't really think it's that necessary. So I'm going to not go ahead with the idea. Uh, why do I even do it? I don't know. I don't know why I even have the ideas if I'm not going to use them, but... Do I need to convert anyone? No, I don't need to convert anyone. Still can't deal with that. Oh, well, this three stability is really helping out a lot. What, what? Yeah, yeah, disloyal estates. And then off we go, just trying to figure out. Looks like Brunei's still trying to figure out their, uh, their issues. I really wish I could buy this stamp, but, but uh, oh well. All right. Are they... Is this even needed anymore? Um, doesn't tell me what the negative is. Oh, and then our Admiral has died as well, so now we need to get... I want to get another Admiral in here. Um, put him down in Jesselton to get him... To get them a leader. Yep. Yep. Oh my gosh, I love our... I love our admirals. So good. Uh, could I build more ships? Guess I could. Do I need to? I guess, right? Uh, five ships wouldn't hurt. Five frigates. Um, why don't I build two of these and three Oh, you don't need to. I don't know why it's slowing down there. But it's slowing down a lot. Don't do this. Come on now. There's no reason to slow down. My little maritime society here. I love our little 20 confederation. It's it's a fun little it's a fun little country, nation. And yeah. I guess we're just, just waiting here, folks. I'm gonna end it right here. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of The Nation of Twenty. Uh, I do appreciate every view. I do appreciate every single one of you. If you like what you see, feel free to leave a thumbs up. If you have not yet, you can subscribe by clicking on the red subscribe button either below this video or at the end of the video. It lets me know that I'm doing a great job and that you want me to keep on making videos and it makes me oh so happy. I squeal with delight with each red click that happens. Well, everyone, until next time, good night.
انقل له 